is Jamie Nova. My name is Misha Kayan. And we are in Witchburg. Where are y'all from? We're from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Okay, did y'all uh, track down here uh, uh, doing a tour? Yeah, we've been touring since the beginning of the month, playing every night since March 2nd. What is it now, like the 17th or 18th? It's the 16th, and so this is show 14 in a row. Yeah, and we'll be, um, and we got 15 left. Yeah, we'll be doing two shows a day most of this week here in Austin, and then uh, we'll be heading out to like San Antonio and Albuquerque and back up through Colorado and Idaho. Um, Spokane. Yeah, back through to Seattle, and then, uh, then we'll do another loop in April down the West Coast, down to LA and back, doing a few dates with the Metal Alliance Tour. With, with yeah, like, Helmet and Crowbar, <laughs> St. Vitus. Excited, man. Yeah, Kylesa will be on Kylesa, there. Kylesa, Weed Eater, who else is on there? Red Fang. Red Fang, yeah. A bunch of awesome bands. Yeah, a lot of those bands are playing somewhere around here. Yeah, we're playing with them uh, this Friday here in Austin. And, yeah, we go on at 1.30. Friday night at uh, the Dirty Dog, we... Yeah, yeah like that's the whole. AM. That's the Metal Lions showcase show that evening. Okay, and uh, how long has the band been together? Five years. Yeah. Five years? Yep. Okay, and uh, tell me a little bit about the releases. Well, we got a four-song EP that came out um, just a few months after we'd been a band, and then we got a, a full-length record. It's 13 songs. It's it's 73 minutes. Yeah, produced by Jack and Dino up in Seattle, Washington, and um, that's been out for uh, about since a, August. Yeah, about a year or so, year and a so half. Been just pouring, constantly pouring. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're writing new stuff now, so hopefully by you know next year. Yeah, before that, we'll have we'll have a new release out. Yeah, we'll have hopefully we'll have our new CD out next time we come down. Yeah. Okay, and uh, for anybody that's never heard of Witchburg before, how would you describe it to a deaf person? All right, it is old school Black Sabbath. Okay, if if old school Black Sabbath, Janis Joplin, Heart, and Dio all had an orgy and had a hate child, it would become Witchburg. Now, uh, how did the name come about? Um, well, it's kind of a metaphor, you know, for um, for for our, like the witch burning trials of, of the people that were persecuted because they they had a different sort of intellect or understanding of life, and um, and anybody that was different that got that got called a witch or or just whatever kinda, because you know, they just weren't understood and. Yeah. And it's kind of finding that commonality between all people that, you know, we, we, we are all different and we all do come from different places, and but all just people, we know? all have something in common is that, you know, we've all been shunned or persecuted or judged or yeah. whatever. I mean, yeah, whether, you whether, mentioned that. Yeah. Right. And I mean, finding that commonality and, and rising up as a people instead of trying to segregate and separate. You know, being able to relate to each other as people, regardless of belief or you know, upbringing or whatever, we're still just people, you know, and we, you know, we like rock and roll, it doesn't make us evil or stupid, you know what I mean? I think that, that was all in the 70s and 80s, and we've slowly gotten out of that yeah. and everything, but well, there's maybe still a little. stigma. It's still, yeah, it's still there. It's you know getting I mean? better, but... It's the beginning of time, you know, whether you're a, a Christian hiding in the caves from the Romans, or, you know, whatever it was... <laughs> or a Wiccan hiding in the caves from the Christians. Exactly, exactly. It all comes to a full circle from one side to the other, and the, the hypocrisy just gets so ridiculous, you know? Definitely. Uh, how did y'all uh, get into music y'all Well, um, I, was, I was raised on Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and Zeppelin and all that, you know? Um, I, used to, I used to sneak into my older brother's room and play his guitar whenever he wasn't home. Because he told her that she couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> that it was too hard. And she's like, I'll show you. <laughs> and I was I was raised super Christian. So I was raised in the church. Um, and my mom sang. My dad sang. So, I mean, music was always around me. But um, when I moved out, because uh, I wasn't allowed to listen to, like, secular music and stuff. And and I, I remember hearing Led Zeppelin for the first time when I was 19. And, and my mind just being blown completely away and just being like, this is what I've been missing my whole life, you know? <laughs> and then, and then um, 
Misha found me and heard me sing, and she was like, yes, you are the one, you know? You're the voice. the voice I'd been looking for. I didn't know if it existed, but I had all these ideas and all these songs that had kind of been just marinating in my soul and really didn't know if the right voice and festering existed to bring them to life, you know? But the, the day that I met her, my old band played with her old band, and it, it was instant. Like, we started writing music together that week, so... Yeah, we wrote our first song in like 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, Be Purified, which we opened up with tonight. That was the first song we ever wrote, and it's like lightning. I mean, she is she is the Jimmy Page to my Robert Plant, you know? And she is the Ozzy to my Randy Rhodes. Yeah. <laughs> She's just my best friend, my musical soulmate. There's no BS. It's just, you know, we sit down, and, and we just kind of spark off each other, and... And we, we have the same passion and the same heart and the same feeling for what we want to do. And so she'll come to me with some riffs and I'll be like, ooh, yeah. And I'll, I'll just be like writing lyrics frantically like a mad woman, you know. And, yeah. and she'll be like, ooh, yeah, I like this, but let's change this a little bit, you know. And it's very, for the first time in my life, I have somebody that we can write music together and it's a total camaraderie. And there's no judgment. There's no yeah. ego. We're There's no to just fearlessly jump in, you know, head first together into the cauldron and let it swirl and, and brew and boil over. Yeah. And it's awesome. And then we bring it to the band and and we tighten up things and, and get their input and you know and we just solidify it to where we're like, Yes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I first heard y'all probably like three days ago. Whenever I was going through and like, alright, which bands am I gonna watch and try to get interviews with them and everything. I really like how y'all sound. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. I was lucky to be able to catch y'all and everything. I know that y'all going to be playing other days, but it's like, I want to get the, as many interviews out of the way as yeah, possible. Yeah, absolutely. So, cool. Thanks for coming out and seeing us. Yeah, That's definitely, awesome. Definitely. And uh, yeah. uh, what plans do y'all have for the remainder of the year? Uh, more touring and a lot of writing. Yeah. A lot of writing. We're trying to get over to the East Coast. Like I said, we're like, or like Misha said, we're doing the um, the Metal Alliance thing. We're playing that on Friday, but then we also, when we do the April tour, we're meeting up with them in uh, L.A. and playing with the House of Blues there. And in Seattle. And in Seattle. And then, um, yeah, we're trying to get over to the East Coast by like August, September. Um, and maybe I mean, maybe. And then, you know, like break over to Europe, hopefully. You know, it's just, it's all groundwork. It's, it's beating the pavement and... And doing all the the hard labor before, you know, going out and news. going out and planting the fields before you can like reap in the benefits of of yeah. what your passion is. So yeah, and I, I guess anybody can get in contact with y'all with, through the same media sites. You know, something. yeah, if yeah. You, if you Google Witchburn, you'll find us on all the social networks. We're on Facebook. We're on MySpace. We're on Reverb Nation. Yep, Sonic Bids. Yeah, um, everything. Yeah, so. And, uh, have y'all played uh, South by uh, Southwest before? Yeah, this is our fourth, fourth year. Time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, how do you like the whole essence of awesome? It's awesome. It's I think it's it. a musician's paradise. Like yeah. you just walk down the street and and whatever type of genre you're into, you can just kind of cruise and and your ear picks up this over here and and something else to the left and something else to the right and you're just yeah. you know it's just a breeding ground for. For energy and, and camaraderie with fellow musicians. And like Disneyland for music lovers. Absolutely. Mardi Gras times 100. It's it's awesome. And then there's all the the bystanders that just come to check it out. And and we get to kind of vampire, like vampirically feed off of them, you know. Like, <laughs> yes, we will make you our, <laughs> our slaves, our... You know, our minions follow us, you know. <laughs> we'll make you love metal. Yes, you will love metal. <laughs> well, anything else y'all want to add dealing with the band, dealing with, you know? Well, I, you know, just, I mean, whether or not, I mean, you know, as, as far as we've supposedly progressed as a society, you know, like, like movies like Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where there's that scene, you know, they're they're weighing a woman against a duck to figure out if she's made of wood. They can decide whether or not to burn her, you know. It's like, that shit was a real way of thinking at one point. And we joke about it now, but 
it's still there in a lot of different ways. A lot of subtle ways too, but you know, if, if we can get across, uh, you know, a message of positivity through music and, you know, just, just open people's hearts and minds to being able to relate to each other yeah. in that way and, and be more... And know, inspire them and, and encourage them. And, and, I mean, it might be different. It might be the nerdy kid in class that everybody picks on, but, like, if he hears our music and and feels empowered, that, that he's okay strength, and he can you know? stand up and just be himself, like... If our music can touch people on that level, we then we are blessed tenfold. Like that, it, yeah. I mean, we we play because we love to play, and like when when we play, what's from our heart, and it actually affects people, and yeah. and they respond, that, that and is, people come up and tell us like, it's people like you, it's your music, it's musicians like you that that keep me going. That yeah. I wake up in the morning and I've had a bad day, and I put your CD on, and and. And I'm ready to go. Yeah. Like it gives us goosebumps all over our body because somebody else appreciates what's coming from our heart. Yeah, it, it's our you greatest know? hope to be able to bring any kind of strength like that to other people through our music. Yeah, and I think that's what music is mainly for. You know, whoever if you're feeling down, upset, pissed off, yeah. there's that energy that can you know be uh, yeah. transferred through the music. You're just yes. a misfit kid who's always being cast out or whatever it is. Or the black sheep of the family, you know, what, yeah. whatever it is, man. It's you know, it's all yeah, about like, strength. We got you, we got you. Come on, yeah. come on. Let's have power you know, through with your whole heart and your horns up high. You know? yes. oh, what would you? What would advice would you give to a young teenager? I have a 12-year-old daughter. And she's uh, getting into playing drums. She's more into metalcore and everything and emo and all that. But yet. What, would, what advice would you give to a young person getting into music? First of all, be yourself. Always. Yes. Stay true to yourself no matter what trends are going on, no matter what kind of judgment is coming upon you. Be yourself always, no matter what. And practice, practice, practice. <laughs> yes, it's, it, it is. It, it, it's practice. Like If you feel like something's not coming on and, and you're so frustrated, the more you practice one day... You'll get it, and you'll be like, "Wow, okay, yeah. okay, I got it." You know, you but try to, like, don't be afraid to try new things too. You know, if if you're trying to do drums and maybe you're not feeling it, you know, try guitar too, try bass too, try violin, try piano, try all of it. Do as Take many things in, as you can. Find you know? a thing that suits you. You and know, then maybe drums will come back around and click perfectly. I mean, you never but, know. Yeah, but lessons and practice. You know, like if you've gotten to a point where you can't go anymore, and you're like. You know, find somebody that knows more than you. It, it doesn't matter if you pay for it. It doesn't matter if you find somebody that's a mentor type person. But yeah. seek out somebody that has more knowledge than you, because yeah. all it is is like, as a human species, it's just evolving and growing. And there's always room to grow, and there's always something new to learn. Yeah, and like I'm once you think, <laughs> once you think that you can't grow anymore, then you should probably pass away. <laughs> Really, yeah, because, you know, there's always something more that you can learn. And, yeah. But, yeah, just being true to yourself and, and and not letting anybody else influence how you feel or what you think. Don't let just, anybody tell you who you are. Like, they're trying to tell you that, you know, this or that makes you a bad person or, you know. I mean, I, I grew up being accused of all kinds of things that I wasn't even doing, you know. But you can't let it discourage you. I mean, like. I, I took violin lessons when I was a little kid, but then I wanted to play guitar. And I've never had a guitar lesson still to this day, but I, I'm going to probably do that at one point because there's always more to learn, you know what I mean? It's like just ever-evolving and, and being yourself all the way through, you yep. know? Well, I appreciate this very much. Sure. And, uh, Thank you. Anything else you want to add? I don't, which I already said that, but... You know. <laughs> yeah, no, just... But like go support local music, you know. Um, you know that it, the whole scene is kind of dying, but never give up. But it's the perseverance. It's just yeah. go out, support, play, play what what your heart wants and what you you know what you feel, and yeah. and be yourself. Really, that's it. Oh,
you would fail.